Hi, my name is Sam, and today I'm going to go over how to use the Compute Ambient Occlusion module to extract the pores, trabecular, and cortical parts of a mouse spine. So to start out, I've loaded in the finished product of our last tutorial, and in that tutorial, we extracted the pores of the mouse spine using the Compute Ambient Occlusion module. If you want an in-depth dive on how the Compute Ambient Occlusion module works, I suggest you check out that video. So since we have the pores already extracted, all we need to do is extract the trabecular and cortical parts of the mouse spine. So now we just have the segmented mouse spine and then the pores. So we're just going to first rename the pores to pores. So we want to click F2 and just rename it pores like so. So the trabecular part of the mouse spine is the area in between the pores and the rest of the spine. So to find that area, we're going to use the Compute Ambient Occlusion module. So we're going to click on pores and use a compute ambient occlusion module. And we're just going to change the maximum distance to 400. And once again, if you're trying, if you want to learn exactly why we choose 400, I suggest you check out my last video on the compute ambient occlusion module. So next, we're just going to click apply. All right, great. So it just finished. So now let's connect the ortho slice to that and see what happened. So as you can see, the area between the pores is now a bright white and the area outside the pore outside the spine is just black. So what we need to do is we just need to threshold the white area and that will be the trabecular part of the spine. So to do that, we're just going to use an interactive thresholding module. So we're gonna click interactive thresholding and then we're just gonna change the intensity range until we have selected only the trabecular part of the bone. This looks pretty good to me. So now we're just going to click apply and we're just going to turn off the interactive thresholding module. So now we have the trabecular part of the bone. So we're going to rename it by clicking F2 and, and type in trabecular like so. And so now that we have the pores and the trabecular part of the bone, we need to find the cortical part of the bone. So the cortical part of the bone is all the bone area except for the trabecular part. So to find that, we're going to take our segmented mouse spine and subtract the trabecular part. So first to do that, we're going to create an arithmetic module like so. Uh, then we're going to set input A to mouse vertebrae binary, input B to trabecular, and we're just going to write the expression A minus B. So what this does is it takes A and it subtracts B from A. And we're just going to click apply and the resulting, let's attach the ortho slice to the result and we can see how this has selected now. Now we have segmented out the cortical part of the spine. So we're going to click F2 to rename it cortical. Awesome. So now we've done most of the work. What if we wanted to combine the pores, trabecular and cortical part of the spine into one image which, with each of the different parts having a different label. So to do that, we can use the arithmetic module. So we're going to click on pores and click on arithmetic. And we're going to set input A to pores, input B to trabecular, and input C to cortical. For the expression, we're just going to type 1 times A plus 2 times B plus 3 times C, like so, and click apply. Awesome. And let's connect the ortho slice. And now we can see how we have each of the cortical, trabecular, and pores of the mouse spine as a different label. One thing to note is if this is a little bit complex and you're not familiar with the arithmetic module, we have a whole series of videos diving into the basics and how to use the arithmetic module to manipulate label fields. If you want to learn more about this, I suggest you check out those videos. So that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.